Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1223 hours on September 8th, 2015, and here's where we're at. We've been working this morning in high voltage. Batman made a really cool follower carriage thing, and uh, it, it lets the whole deal spin. It's kind of nice. It's a little, little jank. It isn't quite the fit and finish that we're going for, but it'll work for now. Oh. <sighs> We worked on a boat till 11 o'clock last night, and I think it took me three showers. <laughs> but it was a really fun day off, and we, we did a lot of just rocking out, and that was cool. So today we're back in high voltage doing real work. If all goes well, my goal is to be winding a coil today. That's where I want to be. If I can get them wound today, I'm going to help you. I'll be back. You'll get to see this in the production video. Comes almost. There it is. And two. The Greenlee Knockout. What the hell are you doing with that? Capacitor. That's your you... starter right there. Well, it's more. It... You know they come in different sizes, right? Yeah, we get five. No, you can't just. You you have to look up the motor. I have you exactly have... what it is. It's a 12.5 uf. Microfarad is yeah, what you're trying to say. Okay. At what voltage? So. At what voltage? 120. Okay. You're sure the capacitor has to be rated for 120 volts? Or the motor is rated for 120 volts? The motor is rated. What's the capacitor have to be rated for? If it tells you it's 12 microfarads, it'll tell you what voltage it has it to be. It just tells you 12 microfarads. It's got to be more than 120 volts, I'm pretty sure. What do you got here? This one's a 600. And it's 20 microfarads at 600 volts. Which? That's way more, more capacitor. capacitor but way, way, way more Are we going to go with more or are we going to go with less? We go with a little bit more is okay, but that's like three times our more. Our next closest is a 10 microfarad. At what voltage? Probably at 600 as well. Oh my dear God. Get with the IRC, see what they say. And don't just listen to anybody, make them back it up. Okay? Or use the Google. But, because I, I, I know I, shit about motor start capacitors, but I know. Well, see, it's more than motor start, it's also for operation as well. Okay. So, there's, there's like a phase lead lag thing with the reversing, and yeah. Their, their answer it's is. It's a lovely box, thank you. They give you a little black box and call it a capacitor. Yeah, and there's a capacitor inside there yeah. that's of a very specific value. This is something that's easy to look up online. Find out. No, don't guess. Because this ends bad. No. Their answer is match it to what's on the faceplate. The faceplate is 12.5 microfarads. Okay. Literally, that's from the main pack. Okay. Let's, let's find the cap we need. Okay. Okay. If, if this is a thing where we, have to, where we have to go to industrial surplus and spend five bucks and buy a cap, I'm fine with that. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do is use something crappy off our shelf and burn up the motor. That's my concern. And that's really easy to do. Yeah. I've burned up a lot of motors. Let's not do that. Yeah. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Did you really just make that joke? Yes. Some fucks rocking the boat while I'm trying to read through a Oh. All right, so we've been productive in high voltage, and coil winder chooches and does its thing, and I can't do any more in there today, so we're tinkering on the boat a bit. We have procured two sheets of marine grade three-quarter inch plywood. This is our lower sheet. It is 1740 hours, and this is the subfloor here, and it goes almost to the edge. To this, this just basically provides enough lift so that we sit relatively flush with the original flooring. And this is done by Bruce, who is awesome. Thank you, Bruce. Bruce and I have started filling the cavities down below with uh, great stuff, which these two awesome people are. Why are there only three? Because we only bought five, not six. All right. All right. 
Um, cool, so we're getting ready to do that. Bruce and Batman are going to put down chalk lines for where the old stuff goes. And then we're, we're off, so that's what's going on. I'll be back. Alright, we still gotta glue the top layer down too. But before we do the top layer, we gotta do those bolts in. Alright, that's that. Here, set that over something so it doesn't drop. Be careful because I'm walking on the outer hull. Let me see that. I don't know where the water keeps coming from, but we keep getting a little tiny trickle of water. Probably the uh, waterlocked wood in front. Maybe? Now this time it has to just drop, we can't drag it. Yep. So you grab that corner, he'll grab that corner. You know that's not symmetrical, right? Yeah, because okay. that is not symmetrical. Oh, okay. That's what made it fun. Come on in. Know. Katie. Yeah, there you go. Also, Katie, be careful not to cover the holes on top of the camera. The little holes are the microphones. Okay. There's two little holes on top of the camera. All right, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Going in the okay. Camera. All right, are we where we want to be? Hover just over your spot. Everything look good? Yep. Come down. Place it. Everything good? Everything happy? Make sure it's exactly where you want it. I used more liquid nails be than we needed because I didn't know right where this would have to go. Now to do this properly, we want to go back, lift it up, give it a few seconds, and then put it back down. So you aerate. I'll lift with it. All right. Um, now we have to do the top sheet, and we need one of the chairs for that because we have to use the old sheet as a template for where the chairs go. And then we know right where to drill the holes and everything. We might even be able to pop the bolts out. Um, we're probably going to want to new, want new got anchors. Them. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Pull that out of there. Let's lay it down over here. We'll get it all lined up. So there's new sheet. That's way more better. It's kind of cool to stand in a boat and it's not spongy. Just come forward. We gotta go on this side. Oh. Other side, we got the, uh, I know that. the hydraulics. Yeah. Hey, Batman! Can you grab the eight anchors? This is why you're awesome. I think we can use the old floor as a template and just trace it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right. Well, and that's quick and easy. Is that what we're doing, Chris? Yeah, that's what we're doing. It's totally what we're doing. Yeah. 
Square up on it, right? Square up on it, right? Bruce, you want a sharpie? Well, I don't have a sharpie, but if you have a sharpie, I don't do that pencil mojo. That's for people that make mistakes. That's for old time. I'm used to pencils. Need another Sharpie? What size do you have? Uh, Because as long as the bolts fit through the seats, we're fine. It doesn't matter. Now, are these new ones or the originals? Mm, these are new well, ones. Recycled ones from something else. Oh, okay. These They're are the ones that came condition. off the pallet. Yeah, those pallets. Are they too thick? Hmm? No. Okay. They came off three quarter inch pallet. They should be. The other ones are too thin. That's from uh, half inch pallet. Can I try that? Here, I'll trade you. Wow, that's a really light camera. It's one Harvey left me. Yeah? Yeah. It's a really light camera. Did you pull that out of a rock or something and like in a lake maybe? Water tart through it, I mean. Oh, okay. I'm now king of the tools. <laughs> hey Batman? Yeah. They stick through. A little bit. Hey you Batman? Put it down or anything? Or is it just gonna be wood? It was it was gonna be wood, then well, some manner of goop? Yeah, you're doing goop. Yeah. I know what we put down in here. What? We put down the plywood. Put down the epoxy. All that leftover rubber diamond plate. Wouldn't that be perfect? 
That would be absolutely perfect in a boat. It's so hard to dig out, but it'd be worth it. It really would. It's so hard to dig out. Though. It'd be so cool, diamond plate most, boat. Most of the pieces are either like two foot by two foot or they're ten foot by like six. Yeah, but I'm sure we got like a little bit, because we don't need a big piece. That's what I'm saying. And All if, that's left is like either 16 by 20 or like two foot by two foot. Okay. Let's, let's dig out a piece and see what we can get because we do that, we seal it around the edge because we've already got the epoxy down. We seal that around the edge. That's a tough as nails waterproof membrane that just seals the whole thing. You could dump buckets of water in here and it's not going to go anywhere. And will. Totally won't. Actually, that's good too that that's broken through because you want to seal it when you're doing the resin down, down epoxy so you don't epoxy. I was just going to put the screws in the holes. So then you seal the screws with the epoxy. No, you put the we, we I played this game. You put the screws in the holes, and then after it totally cures, you come along and you just kiss it with a razor blade, and they screw right up. That, done that right over there. And in lots of other buildings for lots of other things. Yeah, I'm really good at the how to have a screw anchor in the floor and epoxy. Yeah, the screws come right. You just you got to cut it first, and then yep. they come right out. I got a raisin knife up here. Oh, you got it. my entire life, I've always ever needed to use a quarter can of great stuff or a dozen cans of great stuff. I'm still thinking you could have filled the gap in the walls of your house with great stuff and it didn't well I thought too. that. <laughs> I thought that. I agree with that. 
for the record. But people with structural engineer on their business card, general contractor, and various forms of masons. Ain't never met a free mason, by the way. They're expensive as hell. I, you hear about free masons all the time. No, those guys are expensive. They all tell me, here's the five different ways we can solve this problem. And all of them just cost all the money. It's a brutal technique there. <laughs> That's how I got very Let's get the job done. Yeah. We got one can left? Mm-hmm. I filled a lot of space. Have you gotten the front yet? Yeah, I, the front's done. Like the front front? Is there the way front? Yeah. There's nothing to do up in the way front. Okay, you already did. What are you thinking? Oh, up there? Yeah, I did that. That's the first space I did. That was easy. Is there anything after this hole? think so. We got one can left. Is there anywhere else we can foam? I would foam. <laughs> I would. <laughs> You're a horrible person. What are you thinking? I would fill more up front. Fill that gap there. Where? The very... Between the, between the plywood and the old stuff. Show I think he you means think. the very tip of the front. Up here? Yeah. That's going to get covered. Right. Well, everything's going to get covered. Well, yeah. What are you thinking of? Up here? Yeah, just that camera right there. Okay. You got fucking great stuff, why not use it? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. It's great stuff. Thank you. Alright, that's only going to take me a little tiny bit. Where else can we hit? But there's nothing up here to do. Like that's that's the outer hole, and I don't want to fill these with foam because that gives me a tiny little bit of storage space for stuff. Because that's where the fish go. Live well. I mean, you could save the rest for the pants of someone you pissed up, pissed you off. Where's that? See, my plan is to just sand this down tomorrow. So you just put it in here, let it expand a little bit. It'll adhere really well. I'll sand off the extra tomorrow. All right, where else can we have? I think we're about good. I think that's everything I can hold with home. There's a little extra crack in that side thing there where the weird little pile is. everything I can see. I think we're done. 
got anything that needs to grade stuff? I still got the better part of the can. Good. Well, you can't reuse it because the thing will be pooched. So let's just mess with Batman. Good thing buckets are cheap. Oh no, it's gonna come right out. As a solid block. Tomorrow. If it does, we can put a name on it and call it art. That's so familiar. If I can sell it for more than six bucks, I made a profit on it. Because Canada's the six bucks. That can be the the prize to the first major donor to the studio recording studio <laughs> campaign. Modern art made at the Geek Group. <laughs> Donate five hundred dollars, you get a block of foam. See how much of it is. Now I need another can. To have this work out properly. Yeah, I didn't have enough filler. Story of your life. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? It's easy. Oh, there is that. That's, that's goopy. Please take that board and lay it down flat, the old bottom. Yeah. Just lay it flat on the floor because I'm going to set this on it so if it spooges. Because oh. I don't want this oh. to happen in the boat. The world's slowest speed snake. Just set that right up. Well, that's boat progress for the day. We got both new floors cut, anchors in for the seats. And this is just going to sit here with weight on it. It's uh, glued down with liquid nails, and I filled every single bit I could with great stuff, every nook and cranny. The plan is tomorrow, don't touch it! It's not, no, don't do that. Um, but uh, it'll foam out and do its thing. Tomorrow we cut everything flush, and then we'll put down the other piece of wood, which will go further back and further forward and fill the whole thing. Um, this piece of wood is just basically to raise up the deck so that everything's flush. Um, but we're, we're getting there. So the plan is, tomorrow we'll trim everything down, we'll glue that one down, Unlike the previous idiot owners, there won't be any screws holding it down, but we'll glue that down. And then I'm going to dump a lot of fiberglass resin, um, not with fiberglass, just the resin, and just douche this whole thing in resin. While that's curing, uh, we'll dig out, we have old flooring from the Astro Lounge which is really, really sexy rubber flooring. It's like a quarter inch thick rubber flooring. It's got diamond plate pattern on top and it's gray. So I can do the, the actual floor in here will be that, which will just be put down with context. Is it UV resistant? Doesn't have to be. I parked my boat inside. <laughs> Not worried about that. Um, but I'm just gonna do that and I'll do the whole, like I'll do it in one continuous sheet all the way up, I will caulk the hell out of it around the edges so it's absolutely watertight. And that gives me just a total watertight thing and the only hole in it at all will be right there into the sump. Done. At which point, I'm done on the inside of the boat. I might, before I put that in, paint the inside of the boat because there's a whole lot of ugly in here. And that's easy to fix. I can paint. So that's the plan. And that's the blog. Thank you guys. By the way, a special shout out to Danichi, who donated huge and kicked off the closing of the High Voltage Lab fundraiser today. You, sir, kick ass. Thank you. You did awesome. Casey loves you. So now we're going to start the main power feed of the High Voltage Lab. That's going to be a thing. Cool. See you guys later. Thanks.